you know, I've mentioned, just finished mentioning that you can go to the courthouse and do the research or have somebody do the research for you and you can get all of these, uh, these names, if you would. You can either mail to those people, uh, you can do phone calls, and by the way, there are, going to be, there are sample mailings on the website, there are samples for you, um, uh, calls and scripts and everything, I'll go over that in just a minute. But what I have found to really work better than anything else is to get someone else to bring me the business. In other words, put my name out there to maybe 10, 15, 20 people and have each of those people send me one or two deals a year. If I've got even 20 people who send me one deal a year, that's 20 deals and I make, I don't know, two or three thousand dollars, which is a very realistic expectation on this type of deal. If I were to do that at the end of the year, I could make 60 grand by having other people bring me the business and having me provide a service to them. So you might say, well, who, Bob, would you go to uh, to get people to bring you business? Well, I've made a list for you right here. First of all, I like attorneys. Not that I like attorneys, but <laughs> I have a couple. And, and attorneys are a fantastic source of notes for a couple of different reasons. Um, a lot of times they're working with their clients, attorneys and uh, accountants both, uh, end up working with their clients to help them do some financial planning. Sometimes it might be an estate attorney, uh, and there's notes that are in an estate. Um, we had a, uh, a friend of mine in San Diego, his name was David, who was a criminal attorney, and um, David received, in lieu of payment, he received a note on real estate. He had to find a way to liquidate it. So uh, I think attorneys are a great source, and one of the sideline businesses that I've developed over the years is actually evaluating notes for estates and for attorneys. They'll call me up, I'll evaluate the note, and they can use that when they make their arguments or they settle the estate or whatever. I do the same thing for accountants. Real estate agents are a great source of notes, um, usually because when an agent sells a property, they're privy to whether or not the seller has carried back financing. Um, and that might be the only way they can sell a property. They might have a, a really hot uh, buyer on the hook that can't qualify for a conventional lender. They want to create a note. It's a great way to get your name out there in the industry and say, hey, look, if any privately held notes are created, I might be interested in buying them. Please give me a call. Okay. That's agents. Title companies, similar motivation. Uh, title companies close deals, and when they close transactions for the buyer and the seller, they see where notes are created. In fact, I, I have a great little story here. A lot of folks come to me and say, Bob, what about this whole marketing thing? You know, I can't really afford to send out letters or this or that. One of my students actually went to a title company and said, um, I would uh, like to get the names from you of people who carried back paper. And the title company was pretty hesitant to hand out the names. And they said, well, what do you want them for? And he says, well, I want to do a mailing to them because if they've carried back paper, I want to let them know that I'm available to buy their notes. And the title company says, I'll tell you what, let us do that for you. You're thinking, what in the world? See, what happens is the title company was willing to send these letters out for my student as a marketing tool because any time that we we mean SMI funding, when we buy a note, we want to make sure that there's a title update, plus we have to close it at a certain place. So the title company was going to make money off of this referral. So he got the title company to send out all the letters for him at their expense. That's the true power of leverage. All right, accountants. Accountants settle people's estates. Uh, accountants plan things for people. And for instance, you, know, you might have, the accountant might have a client who's carried back a note that's only making three or 4%. And the accountant comes along and says, hey, Bill, you know, we got a great thing for you. You've got a great deal or opportunity over here where you can get 12 or 13%. Why don't you sell that note, even if it's at a discount, clear up those funds, let's invest it over here. Financial planners, the same thing. That's why I love uh, title uh, accountants. Professional directories, you can go and find uh, places, that, uh, you can find directories that list all of these professions. Uh, list brokers, same thing. You can go to a, uh, a list broker and they can find, oh my goodness, uh, accountants for you and title companies for you and real estate agents and attorneys for you. But you know what? Would you like to learn like a secret place to find all of these, all of these things, all of these resources? Because it really is a great secret. Pretty well kept. Very few people use it. And I'm going to reveal it here right now. You ready? I feel like Carol Merrill. It's the phone book, the yellow pages. Guys, there are more lists in here than you could possibly imagine. 
open your phone book, go to the attorneys, write the letters to the attorneys, go to the agents, go to the title companies, accountants, etc. Use the resources you have right at hand.